In today's video, I'm making the commute up to Brisbane to check out the Lifeline Book and Gift Fair. Now, there's about 10,000 books here, but there are also a lot of DVDs, and I absolutely love seeing my DVDs. There are thousands to pick from here, so hopefully, we can find some absolute bargains. But before we get stuck into that, there is about a one hour's drive ahead of us, and we've got a number of really good op shops to check out along the way. So let's go dive into those, and hopefully, we can find some really cool orders before we even get stuck into Bookfest. Not too bad of a way to kick off the day, guys. We've got the Tommy Hill figure embroidered down the side of the leg there. Uh, just some casual shorts here, $6. It's a size 36 waist. Now, I'm going to go for about 30 bucks free postage on eBay for that one. I've also found the NBA. Uh, this is just a plain Adidas snapback hat. It's only a $4 price tag, so therefore, I've gone ahead and picked it up. And we've got the Australian soccer team, the Socceroos. We've got the track pants here as well. These are a really great grab. A size extra large, and I've just paid the $4. This was an incredible get for just the $3. A brand that I love to find in the thrift, Tommy Bahama. Have a look at the embroidery on the back of the shirt there. That is a very, very cool find. I'm going to go for about $35 bucks on eBay for that one. And I have sold Tommy Bahama pretty well in the past. So I'm confident that I'm going to get a pretty quick sell-through rate on that one there. Hey, flash sale, PC games, three for $6. Are you kidding me? This is a brilliant little collection that we've got here. Have a bit of a cast over all of these games and let me know if there are any that I've missed. But I've been able to sift through and pick out a couple of the ones that I think will go for some good money. These V8 supercars, I reckon about 30 bucks a piece. We're talking about $90 worth of value there. And I've also found the World of Warcraft, which is always a proven winner. Now, with these video games, you do want to be making sure on the computer system that they've got a key code. And these ones certainly do. So I've gone ahead and I've taken the purchase there at 2 bucks a piece on those. These ones as well, there was a bunch of Xbox games, Wii games, PlayStation 2 games. Quite a large collection, actually. And I did ask the lady to pick out a couple. There were a couple of Nintendo DS games just here. Yeah. Um, so, Nintendo Dogs. Yeah. And then there was Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City and the Xbox games. Great. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. So unfortunately, the Spider-Man game didn't have the correct game in the case, which is always something you've got to check for. And the Nintendo Dogs uh, game as well on the DS, that was actually an American copy. So in the end, after all that sifting, I only took away Liberty City. Now, I know what you were thinking. Matt, there wasn't any shoes in op shop run number one. Well, I've made up for it in op shop run number two. Have a look at these things. We've got the Nike Air Force Ones. These are the mids. They're a US 8.5 women's. We've got a $16 price tag, and they are in excellent condition. So I'm going to push about $75 for these bad boys. What an absolute find. I've also got these as well. These are the Zoom Streaks, and uh, they're a very good pair of running shoes. I'm going to go for 50 bucks on these ones. It was a $6 purchase. The soles aren't too bad, and there was no fabric tear as well. So tick, tick, tick for me. I should be able to convert that into a $30 profit. And then I've also got these as well. These are the Crocs. Now, I am starting to buy them every now and again if they are in good condition like these. These are a US 11, just a plain black size, uh, sorry, color, and uh, I'll go for about 45 bucks on that one. These interested me for a half a second until I saw no comps on eBay. $15 for a pair of bowling shoes, and the best comp that I saw for these ones were about 45 bucks, but not too many comps. Continuing with the shoes, we've got the Sketches as well. Now, I've spoken about these in the past. These are the memory foams, and uh, as soon as you see that memory foam there, like I'm showing you, uh, they can turn into about 50 bucks pretty fast. So an $8 purchase, I'm happy with that. And then the lady behind the counter told me that we also had those hiding out the back, the Puma baskets. I paid $8 for them as well. Thought I had a bit of luck here with the Harry Potter game, but unfortunately didn't comp up for too much more than about $15. So that was a little bit disappointing. And then out of the rest of them, I found this one here. We've got Kung Fu Panda on the Nintendo Wii. That one should turn into about $20. I've paid just the two. Hey, let me know, would you have bought this one for $25? I just thought it was a really nice piece of artwork. Tiger Woods, obviously an incredible player. So I've gone ahead and picked this one up as well, which is not something I would normally buy, but hey, who cares? All right, guys, I am at the Brisbane Convention Center now. We've, um, we've had a pretty good little run up to Brizzy today. I've, I've been able to find so many really cool items. And uh, yeah, I really want to end it on a high with this book fest. Hopefully we can find a stack of DVDs. I've been told that there's a lot of DVDs in here to pick from, thousands in fact. And I really think I'm going to be quite daunted when I go in there and have a look at it all. And I think it really my mentality will be to look for TV series and then look for items that are comping up to be $20 plus. I think that's the way I'm going to attack things. So um, let's dive into it. We'll see what we can grab. 
So guys, this place was massive. This was a week-long event held by Lifeline here at the Brisbane Convention Center, and I was arriving on day four. So it had been picked out a little bit, but there were still some great opportunities to find some cool items. It wasn't just books. As you'll see, there were some uh, board games here as well, but my priority was around the DVDs because that is what I like to sell. And considering there were literally thousands of DVDs, as you can see here, I was gonna try and play on DVDs that were costing $20 on eBay or more. You got to remember here guys that it was a $2.50 purchase per DVD So I couldn't just go willy-nilly and buy absolutely everything I really needed to make sure I was cherry-picking the best of the bunch Halloween that you would have just seen there before that was a $20 DVD the 13th floor as well another good DVD But guys I was here for about two hours literally comp searching until my phone died as many DVDs as I could possibly find And this is what I came up with a really good mixed assortment here of some really good high-value DVDs on eBay with some pretty good sell through rates. Charmed, the first season. I wish I could have found a few more of that. Danny Deck Chair as well went okay. Howzos is a bolo, guys. Look out for that one. That's about 25 bucks. We've got Scooby Doo WrestleMania Edition. I thought I'd pick that one up. That's worth about 15. The Wild Boys with Steve O. That's an absolute banger. That should sell for about $35 because I did find seasons one and two. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that was a 1993 copy worth about 20 bucks. The TV show Chuck as well. So there were a lot of good DVDs that I did pick out here, guys. But as I touched on, it was a very, very long sift through to try and find them. And there was no order to these DVDs either. You really kind of had to fine tooth comb and try and find the very best of the bunch. So it was a massive day yesterday. I got back from Bookfest at about five o'clock in the afternoon and I spent the majority of the evening going ahead and listing up every single item that you have seen in this video. And for the first time pretty much ever for a trip to the thrift video, I've actually got five items from this video today that have already gone on to sell in a 24 hour time period. So a one day sales cycle for these five items. I'm pretty blown away at how quick of a sell through rate they actually are. So let me take you through them. All out of this video today so far. The first one was Liberty City. It ended up selling for 20 bucks. Uh, last night that one came through, so it only took a couple of hours to sell. Uh, V8 Supercars 3, that was in the op shop as well on the drive up. That one ended up selling for 30 bucks, just like I thought. I thought I'd get a good 30 for it, and I certainly did. Um, this one as well, Halloween, picked up at the book fest for 250, just sold this morning for uh, 20 bucks on that one there, so that was cool. And uh, Russia House, the Russia House with Sean Connery, $24.50 for that one as well. That one came through about an hour ago. So DVDs, video games, are all selling on eBay right now. And the other one as well are the Zoom Streak 5s. These ones have gone on to sell for $50. And uh, I was really happy with that for these sort of shoes to get 50 bucks. I thought that was a really good turnaround. Um, they came through within an hour of listing them up last night. So in total, $145 has already gone on to sell of everything that you've already seen in this video, which I don't think I've ever had to or been able to do before. So um, really cool to get such a quick sell through rate on those items. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video guys. Um, I'm, I'm picking up the right items and hopefully that's giving you a bit of an idea of what is selling on eBay right now. Um, remember to hit the like button, consider hitting the subscribe button as well. We're so close to 5,000 subs and uh, we'll be back out on Sunday for another flea market video. So hopefully you can join me for that one. Appreciate you being here, my 30% clubbers. Love you guys, we'll see you soon.